Alrighty guys, I'm going to show you how to do assignment 15, which is taking your news desk and adding a logo to it. So originally we were to use Pixlr to do this, uh, since Pixlr is still being a little bit glitchy whenever you go to size down your logo and it gets real grainy and everything, we're going to use Google Drawings for this. So as you can see here, this is one of our newest news desk cutouts on the news. Uh, it looks really nice, very, very clean cutouts. Again, that's why it was really important that you guys got rid of any stray pixels, because if you left any stray pixels, they would be showing up here on the news. So this was an excellent example, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So what we are going to do for that, let me just close out of the news. Um, again, whenever you just go to Pixlr like this and you select Pixlr E because it gives you more options, you can choose your desk or you could go in and open it from your downloads, however you want to do that. I'm just going to go in and open this one. I'm going to show you how you can recolorize this. So how you can recolorize this desk is if you go to adjustment and then you play around with um, I believe hue and saturation, that's just one of your options. Hue allows you to change the color. So as you can see, the lighting of this desk is changing. So if you want to stick with something that's like a slightly different shade of blue, you could do that. Uh, saturation is just how vibrant that's going to be. You probably don't want to overdo it. And obviously your lightness or darkness, you don't want to go overboard with that either. So I'm probably going to just kind of saturate it a little bit, change my hue to something a little deeper in blue. You can do some other adjustments as well, such as your highlights and shadows and your exposure. I'm not going to show you all of that in this video because you can kind of see for yourself as you play around with these, what your highlights and shadows do. That just makes it a lot more uh, deeper. So if you would like to put an image here, what you can do is just go to your plus sign for your layers, click on image, and then you could find Google Drive, Share Drives, Digital Media, and you can take anybody's screen that we made, which was one of our first assignments. So you can go into Falcon screens, or you can go into Falcon logos. You could do your own. You could do somebody else's. You know, it totally does not matter. Uh, if you want to see a preview, you can change the way that your preview looks through changing it from list view to icons. I actually prefer the icons because you could see it a little bit better. But since I'm on a Mac, mine looks a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is just take a look at these and think about which one I might actually want to use on my backdrop. I'm liking this one here. So I'm going to use that. So double click it to open it. Now in Pixlr, it will pixelate and it shouldn't be doing that but if it ends up not looking too bad then you know i'm okay with using pixel or whatever you think looks good when i click off of that it's really not pixelated at all but if you do get one that is very pixelated i'm going to show you how to put this into drawings so what i'm going to do is save this I'm just going to go to file save for that i'm going to call this uh, blue desk colored that way I know when I look at my downloads that this is the one that I just edited. I'm going to make it a PNG. I'm going to download it. And now what I'm going to do is head into Google Drive. So I'm going to open up a new tab for that. Go to Drive. And then from there, this is how you get into Google Drawings. I wish there was an easier way to get into Google Drawings. I don't know why Google makes it so difficult. But when you go to New and click on More and click on Google Drawings, that will allow you to jump into it. So this is a blank canvas board now. What I want to do is insert an image from my computer. And that image is going to be what I just downloaded. So I'm going to hop into my downloads, check out my blue desk colored. There it is. Now what I can do is resize my canvas or my checkerboard, whatever you want to call that, workspace, you name it. And I did that just by going over to the corner and dragging it. Now what I'm going to do is insert an image from Google Drive and head into shared drives, go into digital media. And then there's different places I can go. So maybe I want to get a Final Falcon logo. I'm gonna click on this so I can actually see the screens a little bit better. Transparent Falcon logos. So I can look here and see if there's anything that I like. I wanna see what they look like. I can go over here. This one is really popping out. I'm liking that. Don't know if I'm going to, you know, use it for my desk, but I can at least take a look at it and see what it looks like. It depends on what kind of theme you want for your desk. But obviously you don't want that your show, which is the original part showing. So what you could do is insert an image from the web. 
I mean, it could be literally anything. I'm going to type in gray background because I don't want too much blue. I kind of look around, see what I like, try different things. The first thing I pick might not be what I want to stick with. You don't know until you try it. It will insert. You can then size it down to cover up where that old mark was or that old spot here on your desk. You want it to look as realistic as possible. You don't want it to look like it's just a fake image dropped on there. That looks pretty decent there. I might want to change my sizing a little bit. Yeah, because I'm still seeing some of the shadow over here on the edge. So it might be a good idea to just kind of make it a little bit bigger than the original. That way we don't see any of the original. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and drop it on here. Again, um, it's going behind. Let me undo that with edit undo or my undo button. The reason why it's going behind is this was inserted after that. So I need to go to arrange and order it to the front. Now it's on top. Okay. Again, might not go with a color scheme that I'm looking at here. Maybe if I had a more uh, orange or red desk, that might work. So I'm going to try something else. Just see if I like something else better. Again, pull that from Drive. You have a lot of different options to work with. And if everybody watermarked their images as they were supposed to, then credit is given to them. Again, this is why it's really important, guys, to put your watermarks on there so that when we use each other's images, credit has been given. Might work with... Um... Okay, so there's a nice blue one that kind of goes with my color scheme. I like the one I had before. I just wasn't seeing it with... The colors that I'm using might work with something else, but this has been watermarked, which looks great. So credit is given to the person who designed this. So there's a desk. Okay, what you would want to do before you download it is you don't want this to be untitled because whenever you download it, the name will be untitled.png. So I'm going to go up here and call this blue desk with logo. I might actually add my name to the beginning of that. I'll show you guys why. Gina Irwin, blue desk with logo. Now that it's done, file download, make it a PNG. Then to add it into our folder on Drive so we can start using it on news, go to share drives, go to digital media, and then look for the final news desks with logos folder. Lots of folders here, but again, we can stay organized for a reason. So these are the ones that have already been dropped in there. They look really awesome. So we already have some new desks to put into our rotation. It's really nice if you guys look and see what is out there. That way you can get some ideas yourself on what you could do with yours. I feel like this year we're going to have a lot uh, nicer of a news broadcast just because you guys are doing such a good job getting all of these graphics and everything together to be used on news. These look really, really nice. So to add yours to it, you would just go over to new, click on file upload, go to your downloads and pull in that PNG. Again, it's really important that you name your PNGs from Google drawings or Pixlr or wherever you're making it. That way you know what it is that you're uploading and what you're working with. You don't accidentally drop in the wrong file. So once you do that, it's going to be there. So there's the one that I just did. Again, a lot of these have been named, which is great. So we know who it belongs to. Um, if you want, you can put your watermark on there. I did not do that. I skipped that step, but you know, give yourself credit. Now, don't forget to add your finished desk with your finished logo to assignment 15. And also, if you want to make more than one version, maybe you want to make one for different color schemes, different holidays, different themes, Go right ahead and do that. The more, the better. Uh, instead of just being finished and sitting there and saying, oh, I'm going to play a game, you know, get creative and make something else because as you make more, you're going to get better at this. You're going to have more ideas and we're going to have more of your work to use on our news and in our videos.